Hey guys, Steve here at SKS Props, and today we're gonna learn how to sell shade some Borderlands Psycho Pants. Welcome to the shop. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we'll be coming back with lots more tips and tricks for prop and costume fabrication. Now in today's video, we're gonna be doing some cell shading to mimic the style of Borderlands. Now you guys know me, I love Borderlands, and I've done several videos in the past, specifically doing a lot of the hard pieces, so like the masks and the armor, and I'll of course link those videos below. I did some cloth and a simplistic Borderlands video in my channel currently, but I figure it's about time to do some advanced techniques. So I'm gonna show you guys what it takes to use an airbrush and different paints, and mimic this style on some Borderlands Psycho Pants. We have a lot to do, so let's get started. Sourcing orange pants isn't easy, but I've had some decent luck on used clothing sites like eBay and Poshmark. To give the pants some very subtle color shifts, I'll be using my Iwata airbrush and a mixture of transparent and opaque Createx airbrush paints. From there, it's just using the airbrush to highlight a lot of the contours and creases in the pants. I'm using the Psycho Cosplay Guide on the Borderlands website as a main reference for this. On your first pass, try not to add too much pigment to the cloth. You can always go back and add additional layers as you see fit. After the yellow highlights have been applied, I then start to go in with some transparent Createx orange. Now this orange is a little bit darker than the pants, so it'll start to define the shadows. The Cosplay Reference Guide has a subtle hue shift for the pants that go from kind of a dark orange red up to the yellow at the top. Notice once the orange has dried, I start to go in with the red. It is also a transparent, not an opaque. This will allow me to control the level of opacity. After all the airbrush pigment had been applied, I wanted it to kind of have a dusty yellowish color at the top. A great way to achieve this is by using some spray paint and just lightly dusting the surface. Unlike the previous versions of this game, the Psycho Pants have dark brown cuffs down at the bottom, and to achieve this look, I used some dark brown spray paint. If you wanted to, you could also dye the cloth to achieve this look. I just felt this was a quicker and easier way to do it. The cell shading I had done on the previous video on cloth was all done with a Sharpie, which will work great in a pinch, but if you have the time, I would recommend to definitely use paint. Here I'm using Liquitex Heavy Body Mars Black and a small flathead brush. The process here is just finding the edge to every stitch or grommet or crease and making it look as though it's a cartoon. Now I'm not gonna lie, this is an extremely time consuming process, but if you take the time and do it right, you'll have fantastic results. Now because the cloth will continue to soak up the paint, you're gonna have to regularly go back in with water and more pigment and go over the lines you've already made. And on that same note, if you are making lines here, I would recommend to vary them. You can see that it's not a uniform line. That variation in the line is what will give it character. Now once again, my cosplay reference guide from the Borderlands website is just off camera, and I'm constantly referring to that to look at the lines of variations to make sure that I'm matching it as close as I can. With the cloth on a flat surface, it gets a little difficult to see where all the creases are gonna be at, so I do recommend to wear the clothing from time to time. Right before this shot, I had actually just tried the pants on, and I used a pencil to mark where some of the major creases were gonna be. Just a few black lines really start to give these pants that Borderlands look and feel. Here's a time lapse of the back pocket. This is approximately 10 minutes start to finish here. Like I said, this process is not quick. It is very slow and methodical. Once all your black lines are complete, you can start to go in and highlight. Now for the highlight process of most of my armor, the masks, and the cloth here, I'm using Liquitex Heavy Body Parchment and the same flathead brush. One thing you'll notice is that the parchment does soak into the cloth a little bit more than the Mars Black, and so I usually do have to go back with a second or third pass just to make sure that the opacity is layered enough to show up. We're almost to the point where the pants are complete. It's really cool to look back through all the layers and see how they were built up. You can see the airbrush, the spray paint, the black lines and the highlights have all come together to give it that Borderlands aesthetic. And don't forget to go check out my other videos regarding the mask and the buzz axe so you can make your own Borderlands Psycho cosplay. 
so you guys can see what it takes to do some advanced technique cell shading to replicate the style from Borderlands. Now between this video and the other ones I have out there, you should easily be able to replicate these styles for any Borderlands cosplay that you may have. Now if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Be sure to swing back by again for more tips and tutorials. Until then, thanks for stopping by.